Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Earrings by Angela. This is Angela. And this is our Finding Your Zen series, because, you know, finding peace and tranquility in your life. It's a Zen thing, y'all. It's a Zen thing. So today we're talking about gratitude. And before we start talking about gratitude, I'm so into gratitude that there is a gratitude series on Thursdays. So if you join us on Thursday mornings, videos are, are published around, uh, let me think, is it 5 or 7 o'clock in the morning? I think it is 7 o'clock in the morning, Central Standard Time. But anyway, if you hit the notification button then, and subscribe to our channel, then you'll know. But I invite you to join our gratitude series every Thursday. Okay, so with that being said, <sighs> let's do it because this is one of my favorite subjects. One of the reasons that I totally believe in having a life of gratitude is because there's this, I don't know, it's, it's like a law almost. It's like when you are thankful for the things that are going on in your life and you recognize the positivity then the universe, or God, <laughs> sees that and says, I'm going to bring more of that to your life, right? Who doesn't want more positive things and emotions and happenings occurring in their life? I want that. And I make it a part of my life. And one of the things that I do is every morning, I write in my gratitude journal. And it can be as small as I am grateful for this cup of water that nourishes and heals my body. I am grateful for the rain that falls because I'm outside. <laughs> you guys, it's starting to rain. Um, <clears throat> I'm grateful for the rain that falls and nourishes the earth, right? And you know what? Rain is very soothing, right? And it, for me, it calms me. And it's just, it's a, that's a chakra thing. I'll, I'll save that for another video. But gratitude, having an attitude of gratitude attracts more good things to come into your life. And saying gratitude doesn't have to, to be about material things you know it can be i am grateful for my breath i am grateful for my fingers right i am grateful that my body is functioning in a proper way right i am grateful for my eyes so that i can see the world and and that I can act that I can look into someone else's eyes, right? Gratitude is just oh my god, that is one of the main components I feel is important when you're finding your zen and your calm. Because when you're more grateful, you're in a more positive um state of being right there's you're not complaining so it's not hyping you up or giving you anxiety or <clears throat> making you feel un you know you're not ungrateful for the things that are happening in your life and so that's why we practice gratitude and i would love to hear whether or not you have a gratitude journal or a gratitude box where you write your gratitude on the flip of paper and put it in that box. And when you need that little boost of positive energy, because maybe you're not having a good day, you pull that back out. And you say, you know what? I was grateful for that. I am grateful for that. And then maybe that encourages you to, encourages you to write more great, uh, things that you're grateful for. So let me know in the comments what, you, what you're grateful for. <clears throat> and 
make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can become an official member of the EBA family, Earrings by Angela family, and invite your friends to join us in the conversation. So you guys, this has been one of my favorite, favorite Zen Thang episodes. Because and y'all can't see, but I'm so I'm smiling. Maybe you could feel the smile through the voice. <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings to you all.